take a shot at part B here, just for the heck of it. To take the derivative implicitly, we're going to have to use the product rule on the left-hand side of the equal sign. We'll have to use the power rule followed by the chain rule on the right-hand side. So here we go. Product rule first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And by the way, I'm using y prime instead of dy dx. Mean the same thing. And then on the right, power rule. Bring the two down, reduce the exponent by one. The derivative of inside with respect to x, the derivative of the x is a one minus the derivative of y with respect to x is y prime. Uh, so in the next two rows, I just simply multiplied these two binomials together and the, distributed this two. And finally, to get from here to here, I moved all the terms containing y prime to the left side of the equal sign and all the terms without a y prime, I moved to the right side of the equal sign. And finally, I'm gonna factor out that y prime on the left side and then divide both sides by the coefficient of y prime, which is that. So here's your formula for dy dx. Now it might be interesting to use Desmos to see if we can actually show that that's working. So how about we try to write the equations of the tangent lines to the original function when x is equal to 2 pi? Well, when x is equal to 2 pi, you can put 2 pi in for x and solve for y, and you actually have to use the quadratic formula. I mean, there are the two values you get, decimal approximations anyway. And if I actually enable the graph, uh, it looks like we do have two tangent lines when x is equal to 2 pi, and there's the, actually the equations of those tangent lines. Uh, using point slope and this g of 2 pi comma y sub 1 is actually giving us the slopes of this red and blue tangent line. Okay, so indeed it looks like this g of x comma y is a formula for the first derivative. And if I want to uh, find the equation of the tangent line as x equals pi over 2, well it turns out when you uh, so substitute pi over 2 in for x in the original function. You get y is also pi over 2. And then when you substitute those values into g of xy, you get undefined uh, because that direct denominator is equal to 0. So the tangent line there is uh, vertical. And finally, let's try one more. When x is 0, uh, y is 0 or y is 1. Uh, and if I enable that, I get a slope of 0 and I get a slope of, well, I don't know what g of 0, 1 is. Let's see. A slope of 2. Okay, so that's the equation of the, the slope of the blue line there. So indeed, that looks like the correct answer. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.